This video is how to load images into your external hard drive and then into Lightroom and how to export them from Lightroom. So I'm going to bring up the location that I have my card is right here and I'm going to slide this box to the side so I can see my external hard drive here. I'm going to open that and I personally put my pictures under either a personal category or a client category. So here I am in 2023. I'm going to make my folder. I'm going to open that folder, put it aside, open my card. There's all the images. I can leave it at thumbnail view or I could go to list view. I'm going to select them all, command A, and I can either right click and copy and paste or I'm just going to drag them over to the external hard drive. Okay, they're copying to the external hard drive. I can now close my card. Let me pause this while they're loading. Okay, they finished loading. I'm going to go back so that I could see the folder view. So I put them here under the date. Now I'm going to slide this box to the side and up here I have a shortcut to Lightroom Classic. I'm going to drag this folder that has all the pictures in it to the app and the app's going to open. So now I have all the pictures backed up to my external hard drive. When I put them into Lightroom, I'm going to save them there too, but they're just going to be a ghost copy. So here they come. And they already have the check marks. Personally, I just import them all. Import. So when I want to access these raw files again, I have to have that external hard drive where the original is in order to access these raw files. Now before I work on them, first thing I'm going to do is select all of them. I can go up here to edit select all. And now over here at Collections, I'm going to hit the plus sign in the top one, Create Collection. And I'm going to make a folder the same as my folder that I put on the external hard drive. Almost done. Okay. Create. So now what that did is it put it at the bottom of the list here. And I started with the year for the folder. So now everything's in chronological order. So I'm going to look at one picture at a time. And as I look at them, I'm going to put an X on it if I don't like it. I'm going to put a star rating if I do like it. Um, you can do any number of stars that you want. Five stars would be the highest. Maybe those are your favorites. The goal is, is to come back to the favorites, so I'm going to put a three star on mine and then I'll be able to go and find all the ones marked three star and those are my favorites that I'm going to process and convert into JPEGs. So as I go through these, just the first time around, I'm becoming familiar. This one's blurry, so I'm going to put an X on it. It sets it as rejected. X this one, it sets it as rejected. Okay, if I find one I like, I'm going to put a three star on it. So by putting an X on it, we are later going to come back and remove all those X's so they're no longer on the Lightroom taking up space. Okay, I'm going to put a three star on this one. You can see it was marked three stars down below. Now I'm going to go to the thumbnail grid or same thing as library grid and I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to remove the ones I dislike so I'm going to move to edit and select by flagged. I'm going to select the rejected ones 
so it highlighted these two that are out of focus on my keyboard I'm going to press delete delete so it took those out now I'm going to develop just the ones with the three stars personally all these are taken at different densities so like these ones that are dark they're just of the clouds I can see the three star rating here so I'm going to hold down control and highlight all of these that have three stars now I'm going to go up to develop and landscape is kind of easy um, as far as your settings I'm just going to pick one that's a good general one that kind of represents all of them and over here in the develop settings I'm going to click auto for a landscape image I'm going to adjust it from here if I don't like it I'm going to turn down the exposure on this one so it's a little darker and I'm going to turn up the saturation a little bit now down here at the bottom right I'm going to sync and I want all these to be checked check all that way if I made any changes to any of these it's going to set it on the following images if I didn't make any changes to one that's checked it's not going to do anything so I'm going to synchronize now I'm going to go back to library view and I'm going to look at the ones that were highlighted to see if I like them I do so now I'm going to export those I'm going to go up here to file export I'm not going to choose export with previous because that was the last session I did so I'm going to just click export because I'm going to make a new folder in the same place my original raw files are so up okay the export window opened up I'm going to set export to and select specific folder this is the folder it's going to be in I'm going to open that and I'm going to find my external hard drive for the Mac it's over here I put it on the extreme hard drive I put it under personal photos I put it under the year and here's the folder here now I'm going to create a new folder and call it JPEGs and here's the folder they're going to go into so it's empty right now I'm going to choose that and then I'm going to file renaming and I'm renaming to custom name and original file number and then I'm going to put the date in the name of the folder here under custom text what I had under the hard drive also this will appear under the thumbnail so if the customers looking at the thumbnails are going to see the info under the thumbnail that appears here I'm going to image size okay I'm going to file settings I want this to be on JPEG quality 100 color space sRGB image sizing I want to choose resize to fit long edge 12 inches resolution 300 so again resize to fit I don't want width and height I want long edge so all my images whether they're vertical or horizontal they're going to be 12 inches and the other dimension will be 8 inches and at 300 resolution that's going to give me about a 5 megabyte file depending on how many megabytes your camera captures approximately 5 this will be the exported image here which is big enough to make like a 20 by 30 from there and I'm not going to use anything else so now I'm going to click export and up here on Lightroom the 10 that I chose are exporting I'm going to see the line going across here and when that finishes they'll be done okay I'm going to my external hard drive I'm in the external hard drive I found the original folder here down at the bottom it put the JPEG folder here it is again JPEGs I'm going to open it up and make sure those are in there I can go to view mode okay so those are the 10 that I 